How's it going everyone? Spencer Hughes here. Today I'm at the film location of one of my favorite top 10 movies of all time. The film was released in 1986 and took place in the year 1959. It's called Stand By Me and I'm standing right now on the former track bed of where the tracks would have been on this train bridge and right here is the bridge. This is the end where the boys would have been running toward me and would have jumped down here, just barely missing the train. I'm gonna come up and show you here. Looks like people have definitely jumped this barbed wire here. They say in the movie it's about a 100 foot fall, but I think in reality it's about 83 feet, I wanna say. It's a beautiful morning, it's about 9.26 a.m. And yeah, they would have started down there. I don't know if you can go over there, but the train would have rounded that corner. And the boys would have been like right about in that area when the train first came. And then they ran for their lives all the way down here. And they would have jumped down here. I'm gonna take a walk down there. almost fell. Pretty slippery down here. Wow. Very cool. So yeah, the camera would have been like right here. The boys would have jumped right off and landed right in this area. Just barely missing the train. We got some some graffiti here. Stand by me and blue heart. Yeah, people have definitely walked across this bridge since it's been, since the tracks were removed. I don't know when the tracks were removed. I wanna say sometime, the movie was recorded in 1986, so I'm gonna say sometime maybe in the 90s or 2000s. I am somewhat tempted to walk across, but it's actually pretty rough. Like from here, from here it looks like you can totally walk across, but I'll go back up here. You can definitely see if I hold the camera up higher that it would not be in fact very, very scary and dangerous. Here's a view from the other side here. This is a more sketchy shot here. Some graffiti here, some referencing Stand By Me, of course. Right here, RIP River Phoenix. Such a great talent he was for how young he was. He would have been one of the all-time greats, I think, if he continued his legacy. Unfortunately, he passed away in 1993, only a few years after Stand By Me was made. And yeah, working my way back now, the tracks would have just continued right along here, right along this dirt road. And there you have it. That's it for today. There's your brief tour of the Stand By Me train bridge. I'm going to hit the road now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.